Hello? Here you go, Ada. One slightly dented, but still functional radar beacon. This will do nicely. And, with any luck, it'll help us trace the mechanist's signal. Remind me how this beacon will get us closer to tracing the mechanist's signal. Each RoboBrain's radar beacon has unique encryption so that it can't be traced back to the source. Yeah. However, acquiring two additional beacons should provide <clears throat> me with enough data to break the code. So if my theory is correct, this beacon will help us trace the mechanist's signal. Okay. Don't worry. I'm sure it'll do the trick. I certainly hope so. I'm going to begin my decryption routine. But it could take a while. In the meantime, I've picked up another RoboBrain beacon signal. It should be the last one you'll need to collect. Oh, great. So where exactly is the last RoboBrain located? Yes, that would be helpful, wouldn't it? If my calculations are correct, the signal is coming from... Oh, this isn't good. Location confirmed. The RoboBrain is at Fort Hagen Satellite Array, which means it's in the hands of the Rust Devils. Okay. Who, or what, are the Rust Devils? Allow me to explain. My old caravan encountered them once while crossing the river into the city. The Rust Devils are a group of ruthless raiders who utilize robots for their nefarious practices. They scour the Commonwealth looking for my kind. What they can't capture and reprogram, they strip for spare parts. I realize they pose a greater threat to me than you. I just want you to be well informed. That being so said, are you despite what lies ahead, I'd be more than happy to accompany you. Good. If you like. If not, then all that remains is to wish you good luck. No, no. Ada? Would you like me to go with you? Yes. All systems go? Ready and waiting. So, shall we depart? Time to hit the road. Understood. Please, lead on. Good. So where are we going? Oh, over here, okay. Okay, let's go. It's this way. I saw something there. I don't know what it was, but I did see something. Be like a caravan where I fully get there. Maybe I can ignore the caravan. Shit, that's gonna be a problem. Shaking. Just go down, please. I need you to go down.
I bought helmet. So they actually do know where I am. There was a trap here. There isn't any more. There's bits. There's definitely definitely bits. Let's pick up the bit. Oh man. around a bit. Oh. This is a totally different game. That's 60. Okay. There might be stuff there. Let me just heal my rads. Okay. Oh, she's there. Eight is there. Okay. Don't engage. I'll engage as I see fit. You don't have to engage at all. Just stay there. Stop moving, please. No, no, stop, stop, stop. What are you doing? Hmm. Things are moving. Weird. Check your health? Not really. Uh, not happy about that. Okay. I don't think their alert level is going to go down, but 
We are still only at caution. They're not gonna stop coming after me though. They are all going down. Still doesn't see me. He just has a rough idea of where I might be. Only a fucking coward I. Sure. Or strategist. I should be able to see it from here. But I can't. Where's the last one? Okay, you gotta stop that. Good. That's some good stuff. I really do move real fast now. Is the game just moving faster in general? What's with all the tanks though? Ada? Hey, yes, ma'am. Come on. Okay. Sweet. There's two doors. Oh. Don't mind if I do.
But is this a new place or is it the same, still the same place? I'm not entirely sure. Jangles the moon monkey. What the fuck is all this? This place is weird. Am I? Am I carrying too much? Shit. Picking up a bag of cement is gonna affect how you move. goes up. Save. So none of this seems antagonistic, it's just stuff. That's that seems like a trap. Or not. What the hell is happening here? Oh boy. Don't move. What, what was the thing? What, what would they do? Yeah. No fertilizer, not snap. Okay, so they're making explosives? That's a reasonable conclusion. Where are their beds here? Quick game, for sure. Mm. Rest of where? Nothing there now. I feel like I'm missing something. What are we doing? <sighs> what are we doing here, buddy? Do it. 
still unsure what we're doing here. Fire of that, it's crazy. Uh. You're referring to me? I assume you are. This is bullshit. Huh? In your park. So I got appropriate lighting now. Advanced weapon, not weapon, but close to weapon. Weaker, there we go. Good. Oh, I don't care. It's about to control. How do I get into this room? Oh, it's not a room. Sorry, buddy. Go, gotta go talk to Ahab at some point. I assume it talks. Don't know why, but I did assume that. Mm -hmm. Is this perhaps the exit or something? It just opens.
where does it go? Is ultimately the question. This is huge though. Why is, why is that one in red? There is something there, right? That's just me? There's definitely something in there. Sensor alert. Shit! Move! Take that! Take that! No, take that! Jesus! Unfortunate. I'll take him. Yes. Ooh, it has a rifle. Oh, nice. So I killed Ivy, which presumably is one of the leaders of the Rust Devils. I mean, yeah. Let's, I I'm always gonna do that. Okay. Okay. So this is open. Oh, it's back. I'm back at the start. Okay, cool. I never did go to Ahab, so let's go to Ahab now. No. No. Get this get this shit out of here. Speak to Jezebel. Wasn't it Ahab? What? Did I misunderstand something? Do 
AP recovery is really fast, which is great. You don't look like one of the Rust Devils. What are you doing here? What did the Rust Devils do to you? They felt that by keeping my head online would prove useful to them. Fortunately for me. They're stupid enough to actually believe anything I say. Admittedly, it hasn't gotten me very far, but it has saved me from the same fate as my rather unfortunate comrades you see in pieces around you. Now, back to my original question. What are you doing here? Mm. Hunting down a radar beacon. A radar beacon? How very interesting. That's a very specific part to be searching for. And you don't look like the typical part scavenger type to me. I calculate a 98.8% .8 chance that you're looking for the mechanist. If I'm correct, and I usually am, then perhaps we can help each other with our respective predicaments. Hmm. How could I possibly help you? Willing to listen? How surprising. I'll take that as a gesture of good faith, as I describe our potential bargain. Now, how can I put this as simple as possible, so someone at your processing speed can understand? I'm gonna kill you. In order to find the mechanist, you're going to need more than just my radar beacon. You're going to need access to the facility. I'm willing to provide said access, but you'll have to fulfill two simple conditions. One. You need to get me as far away as you can from these lunatics. Okay. And two, find me a new body. Once both conditions are satisfied, I'll gladly provide you with everything you need. Do we have a deal? Uh... How do I know you'll keep up your end of the bargain? Even though there's a human brain floating in a biogel inside my head, I'm still bound by my original programming. It pains me to admit it, but one of my directives states that I cannot lie, ever. I don't necessarily believe you. While I'm not the most charming robot you've ever encountered, the last thing I'm going to do is violate an agreement we've made. Now that we have that out of the way, do we have a deal? Sure. Deal. A wise decision. Once we're at our destination, I'll happily relinquish my radar beacon as a gesture of good faith. Now, I strongly suggest you stop loitering in the middle of a hostile location and get us both out of here at once. Okay. Fuck. I did do it. Are there any more? I think there are. Okay, we're getting the fuck out of here now. I am very encumbered though. for a second mm -hmm. what the fuck ah oh, come on we're gonna have to do the whole thing oh that sucks at least I've killed everyone Done everything though. You're very sassy. I mean, I like you sassy really robo are robots, the but the most resistance here, aren't you? there isn't another. I couldn't. I can't go the other way.
Why did every door close? So weird. Come on. Huh. Oh, a bunch of fusion cores, that's cool. This speed I can still move, but recover AP as well. It is a shit speed though. Based on my limited experience with you, I estimate a 65% chance of making it out of here. Not optimal. An Great. increase in effort could have an impact on the odds. An increase in effort, okay. You're really rude. Very unpleasant. Um, okay, we're out. now? I don't think so. Heads up. Yes, ma'am. Heads up. I'd be happy to help if I can. Oh, give me a second, actually. Let me just save again, because there was a bug Look earlier. Look alive. What can I do for you? Look alive. How may I be of service? Okay, we're not going to have a conversation, I guess. Where's Ada? Ada! Hello, ma'am. Here you go, Ada. The final radar beacon. Yes? I'll need that head back when you're done. Of course. Uh, am I giving Jezebel's head? Shouldn't take but a moment. I don't know what happened there. There you go. Still in one piece. I'm not sure why you want the head back. All we needed was its radar beacon. Besides, robo-brains are notorious for being, well, a real pain in the neck. What else do you know about the Meta? Quite simply, it's the first time General Atomics produced a successful union between organic matter and robotics. The brain is used both as a control unit and a data storage unit, which is far more efficient than using standard circuits. Unfortunately, there were a lot of programming issues with these robots, which caused them to be a bit, shall we say, unhinged. Hopefully, this particular robo-brain will have some of the answers that we've been seeking. A union of organic matter and robotics? Sounds an awful lot like a synth. Not at all. The robo-brain was built with a very different design philosophy in mind. General Atomic's intent was to use the human brain to augment the robot's functions. Primarily, to accelerate the decision-making process. Okay. Free thought and individuality was never intended. These were expressly built like soldiers, to follow orders without question. The robo-brain's unfortunate tendency towards violence and aggression should be considered more of a malfunction than a calculated decision. Okay. We still need it, Ada. I believe it can help us access the Mechanist's facility. Of course. It makes perfect sense that the Mechanist would not only keep its location a closely guarded secret, but would secure it against intrusion as well. Sure. I'm terribly sorry. I hadn't considered that possibility at all. I'm afraid when it comes to assisting humans, I'm not doing very well lately. Why would you say something like that? Isn't it obvious? Ever since I let my friends die in that caravan, I feel like I've been failing. No, you're doing duties. great. I chose the route we took the day we were attacked. Perhaps if I had selected an alternate route, they'd still be alive. Sometimes I wish that Jackson had programmed me with my personality mode set permanently to disabled. Your personality defines you as an individual. 
Never let that go. You're right. All of the good memories I've experienced being Ada would be lost if my personality mode was shut down. I can't afford to lose them. Yeah. I really think I needed to hear that from someone else. Thank you. Now I've distracted you for long enough. I'll finish up my calculations while you deal with our new friend, Jezebel. Hopefully, she'll be able to grant us access to the Mechanist's facility and we can put an end to this nonsense once and for all. Hopefully. But, yeah, no. I have a body. I'll hand it to you. This place isn't... Never built my... Can I just... Yes. Jezebel's head. Interesting. This body you've selected for me isn't quite what I had envisioned, but it will have to suffice. Okay. What kind of a body were you expecting? Considering I look like a junk bot that's been hastily welded together by an amateur, I'd say almost anything else would have been better. However, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised, given your limited skill set derived from okay. your equally diminished intelligence. I'm sorry you feel that way. It's the best I could do. Yes. Well, it's certainly better than being stuck to a machine surrounded by rust devils poking and prodding me for their amusement. Look, it's obvious we don't care for each other's company, which suits me just fine. Okay. So, why don't you ask me everything you wanted to know, and then I'll be on my way. Hmm. You aren't stuck here. You could leave if you wanted. You've created an interesting stalemate between us. Something I didn't expect you to be capable of. Okay. I'm impressed. It's been a long time since I've been outsmarted. Why don't you go ahead and ask me your questions? Sure. Tell me everything you know about the Mechanist. Now there's a fascinating subject. The Mechanist. Amazingly adept at programming. A veritable genius with electronics. I'm not surprised you're interested. I've been dutifully carrying out the Mechanist's instructions to help the people of the Commonwealth for quite a long time. Helping the people of the Commonwealth? You? Absolutely. It's my primary directive. The Mechanist instructed me to seek out and help the people of the Commonwealth. By my calculations, the easiest way to help a human oh, shit. is simply to destroy it. There's no point you might in have to kill you. a laughably fragile life. It's the most efficient way to assist them. Any other effort to help tends to result in numerous complex side effects. The Mechanist gave you these instructions to kill people? Well, not exactly. The specific instruction was to help people. I merely interpreted the most efficient way to perform my duties. Assisting a human to the best of my abilities only affords a 25% survival rate. That means there's a 75% chance that despite my efforts, the human I'm assisting will die from something beyond my control. Sure. Therefore, it's better to hasten the human's death and put them out of their likely chance of misery than to deplete my limited time. It's actually quite elementary, but given your minimal intellect, Jesus Christ. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised you don't understand. Can we stop with the petty bickering and just get to the part where you tell me how to access the Mechanist facility? I promised to answer your questions. And unlike humans, I don't have the capacity to lie. It's rather simple, really. In order to gain entry to the Mechanist facility, you're going to need to outfit one of your robots with an MSAT modification. Okay. I'll upload the plans to your Pip-Boy device. MSAT. There. I fulfilled my portion of our agreement. Perhaps I'll remain here for a while and see how things resolve between yourself and the mechanist. Purely for my own amusement, of course. I suspect you'll have quite a tale to tell once you return. But then again, I'd be surprised if you ever return at all. You're so nice. Uh, well... Yeah, Jezebel. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, 
whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Restoring order. Speak to Ada. Sure. Let's save before I do. I trust you've completed your business with Jezebel. Seems to be going well. I hope well. she wasn't too difficult. She was. Is there a chance these robots could be misinterpreting orders? Yes, I've considered the possibility. The contradictory nature of the mechanist's broadcasts are troubling. But the truth is, regardless of intent, the mechanist needs to be stopped. These robots are too much a threat. Yeah. Were you able to discover how to gain access to the mechanist? Think you can trust what Jezebel said? I'm hoping she doesn't have her own interpretation of the word access, too. We'll soon find out. What did she have to say? I need to outfit a robot with something called an MSAT. Jezebel gave me the plans. A custom modification that acts as a key to the mechanist facility. Very smart. In fact, chances are high the MSAT may be required for multiple access points, like a robot identification card. Okay. As for my task, I was able to decrypt the signal with the final radar beacon. The source is coming from a Robco Sales and Service Center. Most likely a front for a larger operation. It's time to take the offensive. Have you formulated a plan? Uh... Did you have any ideas? I am at an impasse. I wish to see the mechanist endure the same fate as my friends, but I know this to be due to my personality subroutine. When I compartmentalize, I want to know reason and motive before passing judgment. This is why I leave the decision to you. Now, if you're ready, I believe you have an MSAT to install. Would you allow me to assist you on this mission? Sure. Are you volunteering for that MSAT? I may be a robot, but I feel a strong amount of personal investment to see this mission through. I will do anything I can to help. Yep. Of course, Ada. Let's go. Lead the way. So, you ready to get... That's it. Let's make that modification. Special mods. Eh. I can't make that. Okay. I do wish I had, you had better legs. Oh yeah, Saltron legs much better. They have the same name. Okay. Now we go somewhere over there. Robco Sales and Service Center. What's the closest thing? Actually, the airport. 